Hello everyone on the YouTubes, this is the Killer Nacho again, and I have a battle of this time against Mo the Mythical Trainer, and he's a guy who uh, showed up to my Twitch streams the last couple of times, and he finally got a battle. This is a underused match, so um, yeah, a lot of really strong Pokemon in underused. This time I'm going to use Mega Banette, a newly released Mega. I guess it's technically Limbo, but it's almost certainly going to be probably under UU. I think it was like RU. Um, last generation, so I didn't think it would be a problem to use it. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the Crocodile. It's not really what I wanted him to lead with in Empoleon. I always seem to try to, you know, predict what they're gonna lead with, and, uh, I end up sometimes, most of the time, failing. Oh well, so, um, I decided to sustain an Earthquake anyway, thinking that he is it, he might set up Stealth Rocks, or try to, and, um, I should be faster than him. So, um, yeah, it ends up, uh being kind of meh for me. He goes into Buzzwall, which um apparently is a big problem in Yu-Yu. There are talks about um, banning it to um, Borderline, but for now it's still legal. I go into my Sylveon to uh, take the predicted bug move. Unfortunately for me, um, or a fighting move for that matter, unfortunately for me, he gets the freeze off the Ice Punch, and um, it, I don't think it really mattered anyway. Because this is actually not a bandit or a scarfed buzzwall. Instead, um, he's going to be using the Poisium Z, which is really interesting. And I probably this is the first time I've seen this animation. Um, so, there you go. Acid Downpour is just going to, you know, destroy Sylveon. So, thought I had a good counter there. Maybe not. And uh, this guy's going to get a quick 6-5 against me. So, I'm going to go into Darmanitan and... Um, I think I made a mistake when I put this team together. I meant to bring my Scarf to Manitown. I had to bring a Banded one, which means, at the very least, I can hit really, really hard, even with Flair Blitz, literally anything. As you can see, he tries to go into Latios. It's not a bulky one, clearly. Um, I nearly one-shot it with a resistive, uh, you know, Flare Blitz. So it just shows you how powerful a Banded Darmanitan can be, although I really do need it to outspeed things that it can't really do, especially in this battle, since I also brought Banded Crocodile. Um, one of them should have been a Scarfer, and uh, I think that was a mistake at the time. Oh, well. Um, so I'm like, okay, this guy's probably going to try to switch out the Latios to keep until later. Latios is typically carry, um, recover, so he probably, you know, feels like he can, uh, switch it out and, you know, try to recover it later. But I carry Pursuit, so I'm not going to let that happen. Anyway, um, I figured that he would stay in and attack me this turn, because, um, I kind of figured he knew that I was, uh, choiced at this point. So, um, instead we just end up double switching, and I don't know if that's what he wanted or not, but I end up going into Latias, so he goes into Sceptile, which I assume is going to be his Mega. Um, Mega Sceptile will outspeed me, and I don't really want to take a Dragon move, a Stab Dragon move on my Latias, so I decide to switch out. And it does have, ends up to be another double switch here, as I go into my, um, Banette, I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve against this, um, Empoleon. <clears throat> so, um, Mega Man is a really weird Pokemon, it has a really high attack stat, and it ends up getting Prankster as its ability, which um, is usually a Pokemon, you know, an ability favored by defensive Pokemon. Um, which is probably the reason it's, it dropped to RU in, uh, you know, X and Y. Anyway, unfortunately for me, that attack stat is going to be hugely wasted because he goes for the Scald and gets the Burn. You know, if there's one move I could just get rid of in the game, it's Scald. I'm sorry. It's, 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 just, it's just so annoying. Um... Water-type moves are already powerful. They don't need a 30% chance to burn. Okay, I'm ranting again. Um, I go into Latios, and then he goes into Crocodile, so that's a double switch. Heavily favors him. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go into my own Crocodile, which is kind of a Crocodile counter, because I can just intimidate him. And uh, he's just actually going to go for the knockoff, so he's going to knock off my band, so at least I can change moves now, although um, now I'm going to be doing even less damage. And uh, once again, he just comes in with his buzz wall. There's nothing I can really do to it with my Crocodile. I believe it resists, like, all of my moves. So, uh... Yeah, that's not obviously ideal. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and switch out. I go into Banette, thinking that he's going to try to go for a fighting move. Instead, he double switches as well. So this has to be like the fourth double switch in this battle. Um, he is trying to predict my switches hard, and uh, it ends up working out for him here. Because he's going to get my Mega Banette against, well, a yeah, Crocodile. But, Mega Banette does have one trick up its sleeve, although it is a pretty well-known one, and thus doesn't really work that well. But that's Destiny Bond. Um... It's the one move I think I have on this. It's a three tacking move, Banette, and the only uh, move that gets boosted by Prankster is Destiny Bond. Unfortunately, Destiny Bond was slightly nerfed in this generation that it fails if used on consecutive turns. So he's going to go for the Stealth Rocks here. I'm not really sure why. Oh, no, maybe he's thinking he would outspeed me, possibly. That could be it. 
um, in which case my Destiny button would still been up, but um, he just wanted to play it safe and just set up Stealth Rock, so that's a good move on his part. I'm just going to go for the Toxic Spikes uh, to set those up, and um, this is a Pokemon that, uh, looking at his team, I, I knew was going to be a problem for me, this Raikou. I really don't have anything to outspeed it due to my fact I didn't bring a Scarfer, so it's um, just going to be a huge hassle. Now, I know that these things do carry Hidden Power Ice, but I was thinking, okay, he's probably going to go for an Electric move first, and I can go into Crocodile and then pivot into something else. Instead, he makes a fantastic river prediction there. Just goes for Hidden Power Ice right off the bat on my Switch. And, uh, honestly, that that really hurt. So, um, I'm just going to go into Binette again, and I'm just going to try to go for the Destiny Bond. He's probably not going to give it to me, but, um, hey, you know, all I need is for him to predict, or fail to predict it, like, once. But he knows that I really, with a burn on me, I can't really do anything else. He, he can basically switch for free. There's nothing I can do um, at this point. And he's just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I don't really know why, considering... Oh no, he's probably predicting, yeah, the Destiny Bond. And I'm just going to do it again, hoping that he'll not predict it. No, he's just going to keep going for Stealth Rocks, waiting for me just to die to my burn. So I will die to one more burn hit. I decide to e end up, uh, try keeping Banette, um... It's really dead at this point. I mean, it, even if I get rid of the Stealth Rocks, which I'm going to try to do here with uh, Rapid Spin, I mean, it's just going to die to his bird. It's not going to trick anyone at this point, but um, I could possibly use this Death Fodder, and I know that they really can't do anything to my Tentacruel with this um, Empoleon, so I'm just going to go ahead and go for that Rapid Spin to get rid of those rocks, and he ends up going to try to set up rocks again. So um, I think he's probably, I mean, he's definitely baiting here for me to go for another Rapid Spin, but I'm like, I'm just going to do it. I will kill you if Rapid Spin if I have to. Um, I really could have tried to predict this switch and went for a Scald, which, uh, would have helped turn the tide back in my favor. But looking back on it, I mean, there's, there's nothing I have for the Raikou anyway. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm just gonna Rapid Spin, get rid of those rocks, I guess, and, uh, Crocodile does get poisoned here upon switching in, so if I can stall it for, what, eight turns, it'll die, something like that. Um, so I switch out. I do not want to take an Earthquake. I just go into my Binette again, I figure whatever it decides to do, um, yeah, Binette is just death fodder at this point. So Binette goes down, and I see that he locked himself into an Earthquake, which actually is probably the best thing he could have done. If he, actually, if he would have locked himself into a Dark Move, I really didn't have a safe switch for that. So, um, yeah, it's a good thing he does go for the Earthquake, because I can just go into Latios now, uh, which of course, uh, is immune to that due to Levitate, and I'm just gonna try to set up a Calm Mind. I figure that this is pretty much my last chance to try to get a Sweep. Um, this is a max defense Calm Mind Latios, and I really want to set up additional Calm Minds, but he's going to go into this Empoleon now, and, um, if this thing has Ice Beam, it can still do some decent damage to me even after two Calm Minds. I probably should have tried to get the second one up, um, and he ends up just going for the Stealth Rocks. Unfortunately, I, both of his, both of my moves are resisted by this Empoleon because I carry Dragon Pulse and Psychic, so I was actually hoping for a 2 KO on this Empoleon. I don't get it. What I really should have done is set up, try to set up additional call binds. Um, but whatever. And, uh, yeah, he's just gonna go for that Ice Beam. It doesn't really do that much. And looking back on it, I could have set up more call binds and reduced that damage. And, uh, but whatever. I'm gonna get the 3KO on the Empoleon. I do have plus one. So, um, the real thing I need to do is be able to live a dark move from this, in, uh, incoming Crocodile. Which, uh, honestly, call binds is not going to help me with. And, um, this is pretty clearly a Scarfed Crocodile, so it is going to be able to outspeed me and knocks it off, but I do tank it! Mind you how much base attack Crocodile has, a stabbed knockoff, yeah, and Latias takes it like a champ, and I'm able to take the thing out. So, looking back on it, he was going to get me in, um, Revenge Kill, um, it actually didn't really matter. Even if I did go for additional combines, that knockoff is going to still put me in, um, revenge kill, um, HP, although, you know, if I would have gotten, like, five or six, maybe I'm gonna take a Dragon Pulse from a Mega Septile? No, I doubt it. Um, so I'm gonna lose Latias here. My only real, um, option was to try to stay in and recover and hope that, I don't know, something happens, but, uh, I don't know, maybe Modest Septile? Probably not. Um, oh well. Um, so that goes down. My last Pokemon is Darmanitan. He probably could have actually just killed me here, because he outspeeds. He probably fears a Scarf, though. So that kind of works in my favor. He's going to just play it safe and go into Buzzwall. Although I don't really know why that's playing it safe, because it's just pretty much sacking Buzzwall. Um, because even if I was just Scarfed, I would be able to kill this thing. I guess, I guess he just wanted to, uh, wanted me to take the recoil. 
Um, so yeah, I do kill the Buzzwall. And um, out comes Raikou, which still outspeeds my entire team. And obviously can kill Darmanitan at this point. And can also kill my Tentacruel, which is weak to Electric. So, good game there, Mo the Mythical Trainer. Gonna have to do another one real soon, so uh, keep coming out to the stream. And um, I'd like to have a rematch at some point. Anyway, today's question of the day is as follows. What is your favorite ghost-type Pokémon? Um, now, Ghost is one of the smallest types in the game. I think that it has the least members of any type, maybe other than Dragon. So it is um, one of the more, um, obviously, rare types in Pokémon. There's not a whole lot of them, but they are really cool. And, um, obviously, a lot of them are very popular. As for me, it's going to be Miss Magus. Um... My sexy lady Pokemon, which I use a lot in Gen 4. Still try to use every now and then, although it's a little harder to pull off in today's meta. Um, but I also really always like Gengar, being an old school uh, Pokemon player. And it's still one of the coolest. Actually, I probably like Haunter's design more than Gengar's. But leave a comment on that and see you guys again next time. Later.